Patio door locks. A lot of locksmiths hate patio door locks. And the main reason is, is they were never meant to be used as an entrance. So what we have, a lot of times we run across, we have people who want to rent out their basement suite or whatever, and they use the patio door lock to come and go from the, for the, for the tenant to come and go from it. Or some people just want to come through their patio door. It's easier for them, they want to come through the patio door. And most patio doors, the sliding ones, are not meant to be used as a main entrance. They're an occasional use door. So we have a lot of problems uh, with durability. And especially when somebody wants a lock put on for tenant, it has a then it has a way more wear than that door was designed for. So it can be a bit of a problem. There's some ways to sort of reduce your problems, but you have to realize uh, why you, when you want your lock fixed on a patio door or you're having problems with it, why a lot of locksmiths just sort of, oh, I don't want to touch that, is because it's a no-win situation a lot of the time. We put the lock on it or we fix it, and it breaks again because it, the door was never meant to be used for that. Here's a typical patio door. It's got the lock here, it's just a little flimsy thing, and the, it's a sliding patio door. A lot of locksmiths don't like patio doors. There's, well, there's multiple types. So the most popular patio sliding doors we see in North America, this one slides on the inside. The traditional way of locking it, we used to put a hockey stick in here or a stick, and this would lock it. But a nice little lock installed on here goes in the track, it locks it. You could have a lock in there, and you can use it with a key. We can retrofit these and put a key in it so you can use it as, you know, to lock it and unlock it from the outside. So this one hasn't been retrofitted. We're gonna uh, do this in another video. We're gonna show some different options on the outside. One of the problems why we dislike patio sliding doors is a lot of people have their tenants come and go from their basement unit or their side unit or whatever and they don't have a proper door so they use the sliding door put a lock in here and the tenant is using it constantly and what happens is the rollers wear out the lock this is plastic it breaks on the frame of the door sliding door that bends it's just an aluminum door with inexpensive rollers most of these were never meant to be used multiple times they're okay for occasional use but when a tenant's using them, that's when we get lots of problems. We can retrofit these uh, and, and put a lock on it. Uh, it's okay for occasional use. Again, I seem to be harping on this, but when a tenant's using it, we're constantly up fixing the doors because they keep on breaking and wearing out. So here's a patio sliding door, one of the most popular ones we see in North America, and we can upgrade this to have a key but the most secure is securing it with a lock on the inside. Uh, so I hope this kind of explains it a little bit. If you're having trouble getting someone to come and fix your patio door or having a locksmith to upgrade it, uh, some of our limit it's very limited on the quality of the stuff we can put on these. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.